The Unsolved Disappearance of Tyler Davis, Columbus, Ohio. February 23, 2019, Tyler Davis and his wife Brittany dropped their 19-month-old son off at his parents' house and headed to Easton Town Center for an overnight getaway to celebrate Brittany's birthday. They arrived at the Hilton Hotel Easton Town Center in Columbus, Ohio, around 5 p.m. A friend of Tyler's that lived nearby met them at the hotel and they headed out into the shopping center for some food and drinks. Easton Town Center is a large shopping complex with over 270 stores, 75-plus restaurants, a movie theater, two hotels, and even some condominiums. It is a very nice upper-scale part of town. When the bars started closing around midnight, the three decided to head off to another open venue, the Gentleman's Club, and took an Uber over to the dollhouse. They stayed there until closing time and took an Uber back to the hotel around 3 a.m. When the Uber pulled up to the hotel, Tyler began acting confused and stated a few times they weren't in the right place. He decided to go for a walk and clear his head. His friend said he would go check on him and Brittany would head up to their hotel room to use the bathroom and charge her phone. About 20 minutes later, Brittany came back downstairs wondering where Tyler was. She saw their friend walking back into the hotel and he told Brittany that Tyler would be back in a few minutes. At 3.37 a.m. Tyler then called her and said he was just taking a walk and he'd back soon. At 4.10 a.m., Tyler called again and said he was in the woods but could see the hotel and would be back in five minutes. They were in a shopping center and busy metropolis area no woods. The friend would leave for his home a few minutes later. Brittany didn't know what to do and called some friends for advice at 4.30 a.m. The ones she reached told her to just wait it out, Tyler would be back soon. At 8 a.m. Brittany reached a friend that didn't live too far away from Easton, and he would drive up to the hotel and help her search for Tyler for a couple hours. They suspected that he was drunk and probably had passed out on a park bench somewhere. At 10.30 a.m., after still no sign of Tyler, they called police to report him missing. Police would see Tyler on surveillance walking away from the Hilton, alone, just after 3 a.m. They would also verify phone records and were able to tell that he used Google Voice to pull up his GPS and ask for directions back to the Easton Suites. Tyler would never be seen or heard from again. No clues have surfaced in the search for Tyler in and around the Easton Town Center area. What happened to 29-year-old Tyler Davis? Did he walk away, become lost and succumb to the elements? Was Brittany and the friend involved in his disappearance somehow? Or did he possibly meet with foul play at the hands of a stranger?